different than what I normally do. Uh, we're back in a general aviation aircraft. This time we are in the uh, awesome and kind of terrifying uh, Piper Tomahawk. It's awesome because I love the look of it. Uh, it's sort of comparable to the Cessna 152, except that it was designed at, at basically everyone's request to be able to do, well, that's the word I'm looking for, stalls. It can go into a spin. And it was designed to be a training aircraft. Uh, Piper asked a number of companies, a number of big training companies, what they thought everyone should do. And they said, you know, we like the 152, it's nice and slow and docile, but you can't teach a spin in it. So they developed this plane with a airfoil that very specifically allows spins. And because a spin is really terrifying in a general aviation airplane, um, <clears throat> these planes have had uh, a lot of crashes. And they're almost all related to people, uh, you know, turning final too slow, entering a spin, and crashing into the ground. Uh, they're, they're all pilot error, almost all pilot error. Um, but what makes today special is that I'm going to try this on Pilot Edge. Now, if you don't know what Pilot Edge is, I'll put a link to it in the description. It is an online air traffic control system. It's, it's commercial. You pay for it. Um, but it's very professional and very well done. And this is my first flight on it. And I'm pretty nervous. So, uh, in the real world, I'm working on my private pilot's license. And the, the hardest part is always the radio calls because you don't want to fuck up and because it's easy to fuck up so I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see how this goes the uh, we're, we're gonna do a very very short flight so we're flying from Oceano to San Luis Obispo so it's like eight miles um, but the interesting thing about it is that we're going to be flying from an untowered airport Oceano where we are uh, to San Luis Obispo, the towered airport. So, yeah, let's, I guess let's get this started. So, we are in the airplane. I've already got her started. Um, I've already listened to ATIS, but you know what? For the sake of the lulls, we're going to go ahead and listen to ATIS again. So, ATIS here is uh, 1206. San Luis CORGNL Information Uniform. So we're still on uniform. 100 Zulu weather. Sky conditions 400 overcast. RVR 4000. Temperature 9, 2.8. Wind light and variable. Altimeter 2999. Arriving and departing runways 0711. Advise on initial contact you have uniform. All right, we have uniform, so we're going to go ahead and set this back to 1206, and, uh, shit, it said -L information 400 uniform. overcast, 1400 Zulu weather, but we're okay. Sky conditions okay. 400, and then 1206 is the ATIS that we were just at, so I'm going to set my... CTAF, for the Common Traffic Advisory Frequency. <clears throat> so when I'm doing stuff here at um, Oceano, I'm going to broadcast on this frequency. Then when I get airborne uh, to pattern altitude, I'm going to contact the tower on 1240. Uh, and they said they are landing and departing on 07 or 11. So 07 is... Oop. That is hard to see. All right, so 07 is here, 11 is here. So we're gonna swing around the airport, and actually if we're making left traffic, we're gonna fly past the airport, come up this way, come down. So I guess we're gonna go up here, that way, down here, and then turn left onto the runway. Wow, it's really raining where I am in real life. So, okay. I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty nervous about this, so let's go ahead and begin taxiing. All 
I guess I probably could have turned the other direction. And actually, let's take a look at the local map real quick. Because I've forgotten what this airport looks like. So I'm going to take off out towards the water, since there's no real wind. Um, although, if they're taking off... Yeah, I'm going to come this way. So I'm just basically going to pull straight ahead. We're going to come out till we get to about 700 feet. Bank left. Come out this way. Uh, until we pass out that way. In fact, do I want to set an ILS? I mean, not an ILS, a, uh, a Vortec. No, not really. There's, there's no VOR that would really help here. So we're going to come out, up this way until we get over all of the, uh, all of this stuff. Then we're going to come left, call six miles southwest of the airport. How far away are we now? Yeah, we're, we're about six miles. <clears throat> so when we get out this way, we're going to call six miles southeast. Um, come in, we're going to join on a uh, upwind leg. Then we're gonna call. We're gonna come base. Then final, and all that we're gonna do on the radio with them, and it's not gonna be terrifying at all. Flaps one. All right. Let's see if anyone else is nearby. Show drones. Oh shit. Uh, N six six three zero. This is me. And actually, I should be able to see... Yep, there's a drone. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and wait over here. Because they are landing. Where we are. There you go. And he's going to turn off the runway. But he appears to be... <coughs> Alright. I probably wouldn't have done it that way, but what do I know? Do I know? Alright, and I'm going to be taking off on runway. I should probably have this available to me as well. Oceano. Taking off on runway 1 1. So, this is the part where it gets crazy. I'm actually going to be talking to people that are live. Um, let's do that. Oceana traffic, uh, Piper 63R taking off, uh, runway 11 departing north, Oceana traffic. This feels squirrely today. This feels very squirrely. That's okay. <clears throat> Again, the key here is that we are untowered, so I can I can do stuff. Alright, six zero, rotate. And we're gonna fly runway heading until we get up to about seven hundred feet. forward, flying about, well, yeah, we're, we're like 107, 108, 
500 feet, 600 feet. Oh wait, no, pattern, pattern altitude. Yeah, we're gonna bank here. There we go. And then we're gonna come left to right about there, I believe. Location, local map. Center on aircraft. That looks pretty good. All right, we're at a thousand feet, so we want to level off. And this airplane trim's kind of weird, so uh, now we want to be on tower frequency, which is one two four zero zero. And now, when I push the talkie button, we will be talking. I'm high. I'm very high. San Luis Tower, Piper, uh, November 663 Romeo, six miles south, landing with uniform. Type is Tomahawk, San Luis Tower. Tomahawk 663 Romeo, San Luis Tower, good morning, enter left base, runway 29, report two mile left base. Report two mile left base, uh, six three Romeo. So he had us enter two mile left base. So our left base is going to be so base is out here. So he wants us two miles away up there. For seven or eleven. Uh, let's see. So uh, So we are going to fly basically around the airport. Um, we're at the right altitude, so that's good. And location, local map. We're sort of headed straight at it. Enter left base. We're going to come up here and then do that. Let's kick this up a notch. 
Runway but, tower, Bonanza 4527 Tango. Runway 20 left at Kilo, ready to go IFR. Bonanza 4527 Tango, John Wayne Tower, good morning. Runway 20 left at Kilo, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27 Tango. Uh, my my nervousness is making me terrible. Send a bit now. <clears throat> they said that they were doing a, a left pattern, which is a standard pattern, and they said that they were landing and departing on runway one one. So that means that I need to fly around the airport. I'm actually going to sort of break a rule, I think, because you typically join from the outside. Two seven tango contact SoCal departure. Going to departure two seven tango. throttle back just a little bit. What was I saying? Uh, so to join the pattern, I think I need to swing around. Good morning, SoCal departure, Bonanza 4527 Tango, 1.2 climbing 2000. Bonanza 4527 Tango, SoCal departure, good morning and radar contact, climbing maintain 5000, John Wayne altimeter 2994. Up to 5000, 2994, 27 Tango. Uh, so we're going to swing around to the left and we're going to join... Uh, do we need to do all that crap? I think we do. To, to join the pattern, you're supposed to come in at a 45 degree angle. Um, but let's see, what are we doing right now? So I'm, I'm basically okay with my trim. That's the airport. I actually should be sort of a beam one of the runways now, yeah. So location, local map. So yeah, when we are... So he wants us to keep sort of out this way. And then when we turn base, which is going to be way, 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 way out. You can't see where I'm pointing with my finger because... You know what, actually, while, while we are just sort of chilling, though, I should really be... Uh, Punching in ground just in case, which is one two one. One two one six. All right. Las Vegas clearance XL HDI for the John Wayne. Map. XL eight sixty Las Vegas clearance. Good morning. For the John Wayne Airport, approach six departure Hector transition. Then as file climb via the city. Departure frequency one two five point zero two. Squawk seven zero five five. To John Wayne, boat six departure, transition this file via the SID 25027055. So I want to be going 1 1. Flight 63 back correct, spec 25 right. 25 right. For 7, uh, correction, 27 Tango, turn right heading 340, enable code direct seal beach, resume navigation. Right to 340, direct seal beach, 27 Tango. There we go. Looking pretty good. That's uh, that's the runway we're gonna land on. One one, and we are at pattern altitude, and we are right about midfield. And so 
the reason that midfield matters is because that is when we're supposed to begin descending at 500 feet a minute. This is the part I always fuck up. All right. Actually, I'm closer than I want to be. Location, local map. Yeah, I'm at a. I'm at one mile. So, and he wanted me to call two mile, which means I need to get further away. San Luis Tower, Piper uh, 6 3 Romeo, turning uh, two mile left base. Piper 6 3 Romeo, runway 29 are cleared to land, wind calm. Six three Romeo, cleared to land, uh, runway 29 are. This is runway 11, isn't it? Base to final. Oh shit, I missed it. I missed it. I'm a doofus. Flaps one. Tell you what, real Terra Haze is awesome. White over white, which means I'm too high. feet. Yeah, we're gonna be we're descending way faster than I want to. Alright, red over white, alright. We are on the appropriate glide slope. Alright, we're above stalling speed. Come on. And there we go. Alright. San Liu Tower, uh, Piper 63 Romeo, clear of runway 29 at Echo. Taxi into the ramp via Alpha and you can remain on this frequency. Roger that. Taxi via Alpha, stay on your frequency. Alright, I guess we will head to the uh, the East Hangars just because that seems like a fun thing to do. And that was my first uh, that was my first flight on Pilot Edge, and I didn't fuck up a whole lot, which I gotta tell you, I'm pretty surprised by that. 
I'm usually pretty good at fucking up. A taxi to the East Hangers. My little fighter plane. So I'm passing the jet center right now, which makes sense. So I don't think I'm going to have any uh, amazing <clears throat> pictures to lead in with this. And that kind of makes me sad. You know what, when I disconnect, I can, I can go back and take a screenshot, I think. Taxi at a decent speed. Oof. That was uh, terrifying and fun. See, you can see what I'm doing in the game. What you can't see is <clears throat> for this, like, what, seven minute flight, I've got like three pages of notes. This hangar, sort of aisle over here, and I guess we're gonna go around this plane. And we are good to go. So now we, uh, we go ahead and starve the engine, let's disconnect, disconnect from pilot edge. And we did it. We did it. You and I did it. We fucking did it. There we go. Of course, this isn't terrible either. Anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, sitting with me and watching me be terrified about something that ended up not being that hard. Um, that said, and I just bumped that. Uh, that said, if I continue to do this, it's gonna get harder. This is their suggested easiest flight, and it wasn't bad, but, you know, it, again, this is very much easy mode. Um, they cover... let's open up the map. So this is... Um, well, only a very small part of their coverage area. They go from... let me open up their web page, and I'll actually show you the coverage map. Uh, and of course, you can just find all this shit on your own. Um, but I want to show you if I can find it. There we go. So if you look at this, they cover this area, which isn't very big, I know. But everything is, every place where you would in real life expect to find a radio or a, a traffic controller, there is one. And so for... You know, the shitty little, um, you know, St. Louis Obispo. All the way up here, there's a controller. And down here in L.A., where the airspace is fucking ridiculous, there are lots of controllers. There's always someone here. Um, so we flew up to, to there, St. Louis. Um, and it's just kind of fucking rad, you know? Um, anyway... Uh, the link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Anyway, y'all have a good day. I'll catch you. Catch you next time.